the Bodhi tree under which Prince Siddhartha Gautama sat on the night he attained supreme enlightenment, after which he became a Buddha, is a very special tree. Ever since then, the Bodhi tree has had great symbolic significance. Early Buddhist art depict the Buddha not in human form but by an image of the Bodhi tree. And the Buddha's halo was often designed in the shape of a Bodhi leaf. In 288 BCE, in the twelfth year of his reign, the Emperor Ashoka took a branch of the Bodhi tree and had his daughter Sanghamita bring it to Sri Lanka. The planting of the Bodhi tree in Sri Lanka symbolically marked the first diffusion of the Dharma in Sri Lanka. Later, in the 7th century, when the original Bodhi tree in India was destroyed, Sri Lanka replaced it with a shoot from the original exported by Sanghamita. This was planted in the Mahabodhi temple where it flourishes to this day. While it is desirable to plant a cutting of the Bodhi tree in a monastery to indicate the place as a center of Dharma diffusion, acquiring a cutting from the original is a long and difficult process. Through the great efforts of His Excellency N. Bennett Kure, Ambassador of Sri Lanka to the Philippines, our dream of planting the sacred tree in Philippine soil had become a reality. This sacred tree is taken from the living Bodhi tree, the Sri Mahabodhi, which stands in Anuradhapura, the ancient capital of Sri Lanka. The Sri Mahabodhi was grown from a sapling taken from the original Bodhi tree in Bodhigaya, India, under which Prince Siddhartha sat for 49 days in meditation, after which he attained enlightenment and became the Buddha. On the invitation by Dr. Mariano Yupitun, the founder of the Universal Wisdom Foundation, the Honorable D. M. Jayaratna, Prime Minister of Sri Lanka, personally came to the Philippines to plant the sacred tree and to lay the foundation stone to Wisdom Park, the educational center of the Universal Wisdom Foundation. We felt that the Bodhi tree would lend great symbolic significance to our deep commitment to the Dharma. Wisdom Park, however, was no easy acquisition. When the founder showed me the future site for the first time, I told him it was the perfect site and he agreed Acquiring the property, however, was another story. Many had offered to buy the lot. Among them, a prestigious developer and the local government itself, enough to discourage all of us. I myself gave up the idea. Suddenly, three years later, last October 2010, the founder called us up and informed the board that after long negotiations, the sale of the property would be awarded to the Universal Wisdom Foundation. At dawn 
of January 20, 2011, while some Universal Wisdom Foundation members were inside the old mansion performing the initial groundbreaking and taking pictures, suddenly a luminous white bird appeared and flew across the mansion. It looked like a dove, but it was 5.57 in the morning and doves do not fly in the dark. When they looked again, the bird had mysteriously disappeared. Here is that first photo. Whatever that means to you, and however you interpret the incident, it was a strange but pleasant experience which inspired and encouraged. And if we needed auspicious signs, this certainly would qualify as one. The building of Wisdom Park had begun, especially when we learned that the body tree would be planted right here thanks to the Founder's persistence and the indefatigable efforts of Ambassador Kure, who personally traveled back and forth to Sri Lanka to follow up its approval, evidence of his compassionate nature and his love and respect for the Filipino people. So on May 15, 2011, Wesak Day, we all converged early at Wisdom Park grounds to await the arrival of the body tree. Mr. Weatherman predicted a sunny Sunday, but we were pleasantly surprised by a gentle one-minute drizzle which refreshed us from the heat of the sun and which we interpreted as blessing. Guests, visitors, friends and their families started to arrive. Among the early arrivals were monks and nuns from the Philippine Amitabha Society, the Philippine Buddha Dharma Foundation Incorporated. Next arrived the ambassadors of the Lao TDR, the Royal Embassy of Cambodia, the Republic Union of Myanmar and delegations from the Office of Presidential Protocol and local barangay officials. Also pouring in were representations from Lake Hotel Tagaytay, Computer Graphics, Gilmore Business Center and Modern Art Corporation. The Prime Minister of Sri Lanka arrived promptly accompanied by His Excellency Ambassador Kure, His Excellency former Ambassador W. M. Seneviratna, and the officers and members of the diplomatic corps escorted by the Presidential Security Guard sent by the Office of the President of the Philippines. As soon as the Prime Minister and his party are welcomed and settled in their seats, we are informed by radio that the body tree is now on its way. The limousine is being escorted by police motorcycles and a convoy of security cars provided by the Office of Presidential Protocol, Office of the President of the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, the body tree has arrived.
please rise and let us give the sacred tree of the Buddha a big hand. <laughs>